All right, hello guys. Uh, so in my last tutorial about how to export your uh, GLTF uh, with Blender, um, some of you are asking how to fix the texture and um, after you export, you don't see the texture or material. So in this video, I want to show you how um, to get your texture working with the GLTF you exported. Uh, let's go. All right, so um, this is a free GLTF model I downloaded from the internet. Um, and so what it comes with is this uh, material. You can see it has a kind of a complex setup. Uh, let's go through it first. So it has a uh, base color and um, I actually added a an AO for this. Uh, it's an ambient occlusion. But also it would probably only have metallic and roughness. So in this case, this is just uh, how, it, how it's set up. Usually, GLTF compress the metallic and roughness and AO into uh, one image file. And this is how you use them. Uh, you have a separate color for them, and then uh, the red channel goes through the AO ambient occlusion, and then the green channel is the roughness, and then blue is for metallic. And then you have an emissive map. Uh, you probably have an emission, or if not, then this is just empty. And then you have a normal map, and then this uh, ambient occlusion is uh, usually just separated out from that map, and then you have this GLTF material output thing here. Uh, this is just uh, for GLTF setup. So uh, let me tell you how uh, you can have your material set up for the export. So this is a very simple setup. Let me uh, full screen this. Oops. All right, so uh, this is very simple. You have base color, you have roughness and metallicness, and then you have a normal map. This is how you want your material to be set up for the GLTF exporter in Blender to recognize this um, and then export the uh, images accordingly. So you have base color, um, this is very simple, and then you probably want to have your metallic and roughness into one map and then set it up like this, uh, use a separate color, uh, and then link the blue to metallic green to roughness. And then uh, once GLTF uh, exporter plugin sees this kind of setup, it will know to export this, this map uh, into your GLTF model. And then the normal map is just uh, what it is. And let's see a more complicated uh, material. So first, let's see how to bake your textures uh, and then uh, to set it up uh, for NGOTF export. So this is a rather complicated map. Uh, let's go from the beginning. So you have a color map. Uh, this is basic uh, base color. And then you probably have an ambient occlusion map. Uh, how you use them in Blender is to modify them together and then feed that into your base color. But also you can just do uh, color map to base color. This is also fine. Uh, you choose whatever you want. And then you have metalness map to metallic and then roughness map to roughness. Uh, but once you want to export it uh, in a GLTF format, you probably want to combine them into, a, uh, into one texture. So uh, this is what you do. You search for a combined node, a combined color, and then you have red, green, and blue channel. And then you put ambient occlusion on the inside the red channel. And then metalness should go to the blue. And then the green should be roughness map. And then this color should be exported into uh, some image uh, image texture, and then you can bake that image texture. And then what you will get is what we saw uh, here. Oops, here. We have an uh, AO metallic and roughness map. And then this will be exported by the GLTF plugin. Uh, and also remember that you can uh, plug this map into this GLTF material uh, output node. Um, how you get this is go to your settings and then go to add-on, search for GLTF, and it should be uh, enabled by, uh, by default. And then just uh, inside the preference, click on this shader editor add-on, 
And then what you will have is inside your add and then output, there should be a GLTF material output. Uh, just click that and then you have this node. And then you can plug your uh, ambient inclusion map or actually the uh, the combined node, combined color map into this occlusion. And then this will get exported correctly. And then uh, after that, if you have any clear code, you have a clear code weight and then the roughness. Uh, these two are separate by default, but if you want to export um, into a GLTF format, you would uh, also, again, want to use a combined uh, color node. I actually used the wrong one. This is a combined XYZ, but what you want is combined color node. This is what you want. Uh, the weight goes into a red channel, and then the roughness goes into the green channel, and then... Uh, then this should be baked down into one single uh, image node. All right, so let's delete this and then put this inside. This should be your uh, clear code map. And then your emission map is simple. Just bake that into one emission map. And then normal map is uh, again like this. But there is a caveat. Um, if you want to actually uh, have the GLTF add-on work properly, you would uh, also want this. So this is a complete material setup uh, for export. What we just saw was the um, material setup for baking down your textures. So let's see what you uh, want to have set up for the GLTF exporter. So uh, the biggest difference, uh, I would say, is this part, the emission part. Uh, what we just saw was uh, having an emission map com uh, connected to the principal BSDF emission. But according to Blender documentation from 3.6, you, uh, you don't really want to do that because the exporter plugin does not recognize this. So what you want to do is have your emission map ready and then plug it into an emission shader. You can have it here uh, inside shader emission and then plug that with the uh, with whatever uh, principal BSDF shader you have and then use an add shader. It can be found uh, just by search add shader and then you have it. Uh, and then plug that add shader to the material output. Uh, this way, the GLTF exporter can recognize this as an emission map and then put it uh, inside the right place. So let's go through this uh, one more time. Uh, you have a base color, you have your AO roughness and metallicness. Uh, you can remember this as an AORM map. So AO uh, stands for the um, RGB R channel, and then roughness is the green channel, and then metalness is the blue channel. And then you have the clear code um, combined into one image texture. And then uh, w once you use it, you can separate the color. And then again, red color is red channel is the clear code weight uh, channel. And then the green channel is the roughness for clear code. And then uh, inside your normal map, you want to use tangent space. Uh, by default, it is tangent space. So uh, if you keep, uh, keep the default setting, you should be fine. Uh, and then um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, uh, you also want to use the add um, and then output, GLTF material output to have your AO be recognized. So plug that uh, into your occlusion map. And this is what where I did wrong. You should plug this, um, plug this image texture directly into your occlusion map, uh, into your output. Oops. Yeah. So this is the correct way. Uh, not just have the AO uh, inside the occlusion, but also the AORM map inside this custom material output channel, uh, the occlusion. You don't even have to say anything inside this node group. Uh, you can just uh, have an empty node group and then have a have an occlusion input and and then the GRTF exporter will recognize this.
And then this is it. Um, this should help you um, get the basic knowledge of how to export your material um, to a GLTF working model. And uh, you can also download this uh, setup, the blend file. I will um, add it to my Gumroad. You can download it there. I'll have the link in the description. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask them in the uh, comment channel. And this is it. Thank you for watching.